I don't have to tell you, vinyl's made a huge comeback in the last year. Yeah, uh, massively. I mean, we start manufacturing this machine, or uh, we started to look at manufacturing this machine two and a half years ago. What we've done now is we open Pandora's box, basically. Everywhere we go, people are screaming for this machine all over the world. And um, we've got a five month waiting list for it at the moment. So things have gone crazy, yeah. Talk about how the jukebox has changed. I mean, it's vinyl, but I'm guessing it looks a lot different inside than it used to. It does. I mean, in all honesty, we produced this mechanism back in the late 70s. Um, we then moved on to CD, to digital. But what's happened now is we've recreated the original mechanism. Um, it's a lot simpler than it was back in the 70s. We've got rid of a lot of the micro switches and a lot of the mechanics. But in all honesty, it does exactly the same thing. There's still a lot of mechanics in there, but it's a lot more reliable than it's ever been. How do you explain, or do you just sit back and enjoy the popularity of the resurgence of vinyl? It's strange, let's say. I mean, I think what it is with this product is this machine here will be on this planet a lot longer than any of us. When you walk around this hall today, a lot of the machines or a lot of the technology that's out there is moving on so fast that in five years it'll be out of date. I think a lot of people now are starting to go back to the, the old values, if you want, where they want to get something that they know will last a lifetime and they can pass it on to the next generation. Um, and it's a quality piece.